Well, welcome back to a gloomy day in Michigan. We are going to build some gussets today. I kind of got a rough idea what I want to do. I wish I had some cardboard, but we're gonna do some measurement. Yeah, we're gonna do some measurements, draw some stuff out, and start cutting. Got this quarter-inch thick steel plate ready to go, and we'll kind of figure it out as I go. So uh, let's get going. Okay, pardon my dinosaur-like drawing. I think we've got her. I'm gonna change the way this looks a little bit. This is actually gonna come down here a little bit more. Um, but that's fine, it's actually gonna start here and go up to the channel up there, which is only more support. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this off and we're gonna weld, leave these plates on and weld these up. So, I think I'm going to make a call and see if I can get a uh, plasma cutter, so I'll uh, get back with you here in a minute. I cannot get a plasma cutter today, so we're going to take the cutoff wheel and, well, probably about three cutoff wheels and get this cut out and fit it up and get moving on our project here. So, I'm going to be really honest here. I have never cut a quarter inch plate before. Every time you see me walk up to the bench, I'm changing out another grinding wheel, or cutting wheel. Right about here I'm starting to get pretty frustrated and decide it's time to grab the sawzall. That didn't work so well either. I did manage to get this one piece cut out, but I gave up pretty quick after that. All right, we're gonna take some time and get some metal cleaned up. I'm not gonna leave all this rust on here. We're gonna take the rust off, surface rust off like we've done in other places, and we're gonna get the section primered, at least what we're gonna cover up with the gusset. So no time lapse. I'm just gonna get her ground up and I'll show you after I'm done. All right, I got the outsides of both of them done here. We are cleaned up and painted back paint it up in there as far as the gusset's gonna go so when we put the piece up we'll just grind the edges and weld where we need to weld and everything else will be good underneath so let's move on all right things are happening you can tell by the cutout we had some piece, pieces come off of this quarter inch plate we got a plasma cutter off of Amazon for 260 bucks and used it for the first time cutting out our plates now this is only a 50 amp model so it is not the uh, the commercial version of anything but it did really well as far as I'm concerned and in the time it took us to cut two of those sections out I would have burned up probably 20 or 30 uh, cotton wheels so here's the pieces, here's how they turned out. Christopher's got them primered. Uh, they look even more like dinosaurs now that they're cut out. So we got some primer on. We're gonna clamp them up and get them welded on here. So things are moving along. All right, we got the first piece clamped up and welded. Kind of, kind of welded on, it's half welded on. Got the top side done. I gotta be done for the day, but tomorrow we're gonna get the front side welded on. I've been clamping it in 
welding it down. Get the front side, the top part. I know you're saying there's a gap. I see the gap. We're going to clamp it all down, get it tight, and get it welded in. All right, we're back out here in the wind. We've got the front of the gusset welded on, smoothed off. I am fighting welder issues, but I'm not going to get into that. But this side is done. We're going to throw some primer on it. As good as we can in the wind here and get the other side going all right well that's it for this part uh, it didn't seem like a lot but trust me this was a lot of work uh, we got our gussets on and the next step i'm pretty sure is going to be getting rid of this landing gear in the front and we're going to box in the front here and put our new uh jacks on so see you in the next video